Hello and welcome to a full 2021 month by month energy and star sign reading or a month by month full breakdown breakdown. So what we will do uh, <laughs> can't talk. What we will do is we look at your star sign, your individual star sign, month by month by month and see what we can um, ascertain about 2021. Um, to give you, in a way, not only a better idea of what's to come, but also hopefully equip you by giving you a uh, heads up um, with ideas how to prepare, or, uh, yeah, it's probably the best way to say it, uh, how to prepare for situations that, that, that may arise, okay? What will happen is this. As you know, if you are um, a subscriber or a regular viewer, everything has an overall energy. And so before we go into your star sign and look at months by months by months what's going on, we will still have to look at the overall energy, which is what we're doing now. Now, the overall energy for 2021 applies to all star signs. So should you be a person that says, I'm that star sign, and then I'm going to watch this for my friend, who is that star sign. Um, you will notice that the overall energy video, this, this little clip before we go into the individual star signs, has been used for all the 12 star signs, because the overall energy simply doesn't change <laughs> for uh, from star sign to star sign. What does change is obviously the energy within the star sign. Speaking of which, um, the monthly um, videos that we do, uh, well, I should probably rephrase that, the weekly videos that I normally record with or without guests will continue because as nice as this is to have a look at projecting based on the energy that the guides give us, um, when we do um, a weekly video, it is a tad more specific and maybe a tad deeper so don't miss this please subscribe please share um, if that makes sense so and now we're looking at the overall energy for 2021 since this is a long year um, we're gonna break this up a little so we're looking into what the energy of the year is actually going to be like and see what the guides tell us <clears throat> because it might just change again uh, with the seasons and then we look into um, all the other things like, you know, what, what can you expect uh, with um, regards to any uh, business ventures you want to undertake, um, love, and then whatever else the guides bring, bring up, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at what we can expect from 2021 to begin with, if that makes sense, right? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, 2021, energetically speaking, feels or will be actually much better than 2020. Well, that's easy because 2020, by all accounts, was absolute shit. <laughs> right? So here's what the guys tell us about 2020. What they're asking us to do is to remember that as someone spiritual, you will have realized already that you create your energy and if you make life the best it can be, that also filters down to anyone and everyone you meet. And that's what the guides are saying to you. In 2021, new portals will actually open. This will be a much more spiritual year. This will be a year where we connect much better to our guides, which is also needed because don't be a sheeple. Seriously, pay attention. Feel what's going on, uh, on on the planet, right? And bring your energy to the world to um, counterbalance any panic that you see around you, you know, um, the negativity that, that, that is sort of unfortunately happening in this, in this world. Really, really important, but new doors will be open, will be opening, really, really important. 
And when new doors are open, you still have to decide whether or not you want to walk through. And that's what the guides are saying. Be a bit of a wild card in 2021. Try new things because they will be rewarding and you will be rewarded, if that makes sense. It sounds a bit weird, but that's just how my guides phrase it, for your bravery. So, and then the most important thing as the energy for 2021 is for all of us, including myself, everybody, you know, it's the overall energy, you know, is to, so this is what the, what, what the, 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 the card says, and I think it's quite nice, surrender to the sweetness of life. So you create your own energy, keep your energy high, love life, embrace life, and bring that energy to 2021. Um, it's not really rocket science, but what they're saying to you is, or to us is, and we will have a look obviously uh, a little bit deeper into 2021 in a minute, but because the overall energy tells us that it is up to us individually to bring about an energy shift, it's not the easiest thing to do. And, and where do you start? You start with yourself. You start with saying like, yay, life is great. And you do all your weird things that crack you up. Really important if you, you know, have reasons to crack up in the morning. I've been doing this for years. I just do something silly in the morning and it cracks me up. No end. <laughs> and um, and it, it, it works for me. Because 2021, energetically speaking, is actually a year of pleasure. A year of joy, which we so badly need. Now, that doesn't mean that the, the governments of this world um, won't continue uh, scaremongering, you know, rolling out vaccinations and scaring the shit out of people, <laughs> right? Or coming up with new restrictions. <clears throat> Who knows? The point the guides are making is, even though you may not be able to change what a country, let's just say, imposes on you, within all that, you can make an awful lot of change. And they're saying to you, the higher your energy is, the more joy you feel. Um, and, and 2021 will support that. This is a year of joy. So it's like, yeah, and we got this. And so the energy will be reflecting that very idea of, of having f fun, having joy, having pleasure. Because that creates high energy. And the higher the energy, the easier it is to make changes, to bring changes to the life <coughs> we're all living, or to the lives we're all living, right? So the reason why this is a bit vague is because everything is always in flux. So when people say like, oh, that's, that's definitely what's going to happen in 2021, my experience is that you can never really uh, say like, that's definitely what's going to happen because you, ha you also have free will. You could, personally, decide against it. If that makes sense. So this is overall energy. And again, within it, you have to see what's what's going on. Um, it will be much clearer. We'll get much clearer, I suppose, um, when we look at the individual star signs anyway. Um, when we look at, you know, what's, what's going on there. But let's just have a look at certain things for 2021. And people somehow, you know, somehow feel, seem to be really interested in... in in their their businesses oh, i want to be more successful and i get that but success is a weird thing in that it doesn't necessarily define you what it probably brings you is this financial stability and maybe allows you to do what you want to do and that's all good and we're going to look at this but energetically speaking it is much more important that you as a spiritual being trapped in a body <laughs> so to speak um, have a sense of belonging and a sense of being loved so let's just look at what 2021 holds for us on a on an emotional level um, with regards to To yeah, yeah, to being to, to love and being to being loved, right? So we have the totem, the dove, and the cat. Interesting, because remember, in the beginning of this um, 
video, the guides were saying that new portals are opening and that it is important that you make it your, your own. And totem, for want of a better word, means family, means tribe. So 2021 is the year, and this is awesome, where you will find your tribe and where should you have already found it. Relationships within your tribe are much better, which also means that relationships on a love, uh, um, love level um, will get much more solidified, which is really, really good. And there's a couple of interesting things because you have the dove and, and the cat. So what they're, oh, this is again, you know, you have free will, that's, so that's why I see this as a suggestion. Um, even, but it's based on the fact that the energy supports that. Because we have the dove and the cat with regards to love and being loved and belonging somewhere, right? Be peaceful. Don't argue because it's a, dif it's a difference between mm, speaking your mind, speaking your truth, expressing yourself and getting irate and angry and upset about it, which ultimately lowers the energy a little. Well, if, there, if an argument is heated or, or, com or even a conversation is heated, energy always suffers a bit. <laughs> but what they're saying is in 2021, just pay attention to your energy at all times. And because we're talking about love and being loved and the feeling of, you know, how do I, how do I, how do I keep this up? How do I make sure that the person I love is supported by me? And the person I love or the people I love support me. And this may or may not be surprising to some of you because we have the cat. And what they're saying is in any relationship, and that includes work, but we're not talking about work now, we're talking about love. In any relationship, it is important that you remain yourself. And because you have the cat, what they're saying is, do your own thing as well, right? Make time for relationships. I also have the feeling we have to sort of, in a way, prioritize our relationships. So it's not that you can just do whatever the heck you want, well, you could, but you know, you do whatever the heck you want and then you wonder why the relationship is falling apart. So they ask me to pay attention to the, to the needs, if that makes sense, of the relationship. You know, maybe it is important that the, the, the people or the partner you're with um, needs a bit more of your time, right? So give that. At the same time, the cat is basically saying to you, if you are a person that has a hobby, if you are a person that, that um, works spiritually and therefore, you know, or, or, or even if you work as, as anything, <laughs> um, that is sort of your thing, sort of self-employed. Um, or if you work for the better for the betterment of people, society, you know, all that kind of stuff, you will need time to look at what you're doing, um, <clears throat> fire, you know, come up with new ideas, all these kind of things. So what the guides are saying is, be the cat, remove yourself at times, and because this is your energy for the year, your partner will very likely or should really do the same and you can expect them to understand that you can't sit 24 7 uh, every single day with them on the couch and cuddle as nice as this is because you have a life to live and there are certain times in your life where the way you plan your life and the things you do in life may not meet the interests of your partner. And so this is not about compromising. This is about saying like, okay, I, this is what I enjoy doing as well. And just make space for this and um, be, be upfront about it. Don't try to hide something and don't try to, um, you know, don't let this become an issue, if that makes sense. But it is important that you have a little bit of, well, actually, because we have to get more than just a little bit of um of self-sustained me time within your relationships right okay so that's really 
that's 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 really well, yeah, what it is for twenty twenty one with regards to love. We quickly go into <coughs> work and business and all these kind of things. My feeling is I don't want to do half an hour just on the overall energy because that can be tedious in the fact that it is much more interesting to you if we look at your star sign and what it will bring months by months by months. But it is important to overall see if there's actually opportunities coming or not. So we're looking at opportunities for 2021 with regards to anything that is um, related to um, work and income and all that kind of stuff. And what the guides are saying to you is that we have to, you have to, you ought to balance spirituality and practicality. So you are a spiritual person and new opportunities will come to you because your energy is, is powerful, is awesome. But you have to also learn to realize that um, sitting under a tree doing um, hugging 25,000 trees is awesome, but it doesn't sustain you with regards to you know paying rent and all that kind of stuff. And what they're saying is, but balance it out. Best case scenario, and this has always been my take on it because I've had this life where I worked in many massively big companies um, and then I've been fully, full-time self-employed since 2009. Before that, I was part-time self-employed, if that makes sense. But since 2009, I've been not, I, I haven't been doing anything else but what I came here to do. So I feel incredibly blessed and that's what the guides are saying is if 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 you find it difficult to balance out spirituality and practicality then 2021 because this is one of the opportunities that they're talking about is the year where if you focus on that's what i want to do i want to be that person i want to be me then that's what the guides will support and then we have and this is interesting surrender to the divine says it all, trust that there is no coincidence, trust that your life has purpose, trust that there's guides around you that help you with everything. So don't get too upset about things. There will always be a million, a million and one ways to tweak things and to get somewhere. But with regards to opportunities that lead to... Um, a more secure life, if that makes sense. What the guides are saying is surrender to the divine opportunities will arise. Look at them for what they are. And first and foremost, um, remember we're living in a world where a lot of people really, unfortunately, are not all that awake. Um, they don't feel themselves, don't understand what is out there in the universe that could help them. They don't ask for guidance. They don't ask for help. And you are a person that has that down to a T. And so what the guides are saying is you're not here to save everybody. Even if you do spiritual work for a living, you can only offer if people take it, that's fine. If they ultimately are not there yet, there's not much you can do or should be doing because people have to be ready before they take that journey, if that makes sense. And all you can do is provide that lifeline that gets them there. So <clears throat> that's what, 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 what 2021 is energetically. Um, what I'm getting is before we, we sort of close down the overall energy and go into your individual uh, year, is to realize that spirituality being the best version you can be is exactly what is needed for 2021. And I believe, based on the energy that I'm getting, this is really about a counterbalance, creating a counterbalance to all the things that are happening in the world. You know, everybody, I think the only topic really in 2020 was, was, was bloody COVID, right? And um, all that kind of stuff, which obviously puts a big damper 
dampener on all of us. And then look at how many businesses have suffered because of it. Look how many restrictions there are. Um, people become more isolated and have become more isolated, which is not good, if that makes sense. And that's what the guy said earlier. Tribe. You will find your tribe and you are part of the tribe. And so you, with your high energy, allow your tribe to do more than they were able to previously. So overall, the energy of 2021 is really high and it's a kick-ass energy. It's like do energy. It's not a do or die energy, but it's an energy where, they, where they're saying like, you know, we're sending you opportunities, but if you can sit there, I can't see them. Yeah, well, then you can't see them, right? Be proactive, be out there, have high energy, right? Do things and doers always do best, okay? So that was the overall energy. Remember, you will see this little clip for all or for all in, in all the 12 videos for the star signs because the overall energy applies to all star signs, therefore never changes, right? So, okay, that was that. And now we're looking into your own month by month breakdown, if the, for want of a better word, of your individual star sign. Yeah, let's do that. Hello, Gemini. We're looking at your 2021, month by month by month, starting with January of 2021. Let's have a look what the year brings for your star sign. Couple of things, just so to speak, off the bat. <coughs> this is not um, something that um, starts in January. That's something that the guides tell you right now, even though this is for 2021 and we're recording this in December. What the guides are saying is three things to you for your January. Number one, confidence is the key to your success. Confidence is not cockiness, okay? Really important because what I'm getting is that it is one thing to be confident and to be another thing, thing to think, um, um, you know, you're the be all and end all of things. <coughs> I'm not saying you are. What I'm saying is that sometimes when you're confident, it could come across as slightly cocky. And all the guides are saying is be mindful of that. Okay, but they're asking you in order to actually do things and get things done, you have to be confident because confidence is the key to your success. Having said all that, right at the beginning of the new year, they're asking you to give more than you take. It sounds like they're a bit harsh here <laughs> and I only work here. <clears throat> all, I'm, all I'm hearing is or feeling is that you may be in a situation where you need to finalize something. Maybe you're in a situation where things are quite difficult and um, even life-changing, for want of a better word. And yet the guides are saying to you, this is a time to give more than to take. Right? So this is also a, kind, uh, a time to be kind. And, which is a good thing for you people who are looking for it, um, because we're starting off the new year and we're talking about January in particular, a new romantic cycle is actually beginning, which means now is the time to manifest a new love life should you not be happy in the current one or if you are in fact not in a relationship, now is the time to say to the universe, I'm ready. Okay, and remember, confidence is the key to your success. I need to stop this for a second because I'm having a cough coming. So I will be back after the cough. <laughs> Hello again, Gemini. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so 
So that was your January, going into February of 2021. It is obviously overlapping because it goes, as all, as all years do, from January into February. And because there is um, bigger things coming in January, they're now saying to you, don't despair because you are exactly where you need to be, but you're heading for unknown territory. So things that have not happened to you before are very likely going to happen to you, new situations, but you will adopt very, very well, because you have a breakthrough, a breaking trail, as they call it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So a breakthrough is at hand. Right? So don't worry, it will not be difficult uh, or remain difficult forever. You're heading already into dealing with things, and therefore things will get easier. That was your February. Going into March 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Cancer. Sorry, Cancer of Gemini's. Okay, <clears throat> this may or may not surprise you, because obviously with quite heavy changes. Um, coming to you should you actually choose to look at things that's important because you can always have you always have free will and you can always decide against something but looking at january and february there's certainly things that need your attention <coughs> and even though there's a breakthrough coming at the end of february what the guides are saying is even though things get better in march you will still feel lonely you will feel isolated you, you, you're almost homesick it's like i'm longing for home it does not mean that you long for whatever it is you had to leave behind or indeed wanted to leave behind but um it takes time to re feel at home when it's all new and all the guys are saying is remember this is quite normal right um and you survive this you know because let's say that's the most important thing is to realize not to despair um, you survive this. And that's sort of short and sweet for March, going into April of 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Gemini. That's quite a bit of information here um, for April. The, th the, thing, the first thing I should say <coughs> is that come April, energy is much higher. So that's good. Energy is much, much higher. And so what will happen is you, um, this is the time for you to take risks and say, okay, I venture forward. Um, if I, if you felt trapped, this is the time to, uh, to realize, no, you're no longer trapped and you're pressing on, you're moving on, you're pressing forward and it will all work. Um, and as, as such, what the guides are saying is, uh, you know, it's a very old fashioned word, but, but miracles will come your way. So you go forward and a lot of things that you weren't even expecting <coughs> are happening. What they're asking you to do though in April, and it's not just an April thing, I think that's at this point in time something that um, the guides hint that might be missing in some of your Geminis is grace and gratitude. It doesn't mean you're not a, you're not a graceful or, quite, or, or, or a thankful person. It just feels that you're not always carrying this outwards. And, um, or even when something happens for you that the universe made, made sure it happens for you, you know, show some gratitude, if that makes sense. Just like, yeah, even if you don't give a hoot about the universe, it's nice to say like, wow, that worked, thank you, you know, uh, to whoever the thank you is. So that's what they're saying to you. Always remember um, <coughs> to be a bit humble, if that makes sense. Going into May 2021, we are at the star sign of Gemini. There we go. We need all of you. Oh. 
This is interesting because now they're asking you <coughs> or have asked you to not only make changes with the beginning of the new year, but also go through them and, and indeed you have made progress. So in May, what they're saying is you are now fully protected by your guides, right? So there are obviously guides around you and you kind of, you know, can now trust that your future um, will happen. And so what they're asking you to do is a couple of things. Number one, remember, I sort of hinted at this in March without quite knowing where this comes from. <coughs> when I said, you know, even if you don't know who the guides are, begin to believe in magic. Let things happen. Be a bit more spiritual or find your spirituality. Look deeper, right? Take, put all ego aside, all preconceived notions about what spirituality may mean and just look at how to find it within. It's definitely worth it. So what the guys are saying is believe in magic. And then all they're asking you to, all that's left to do in May is to actually savor your life, enjoy life. There's, there's um, passion and pleasure in May. And this may not necessarily mean it's a physical thing. So it doesn't mean that you have to find um, the partner that you can be passionate with. Passion has a lot of shapes and forms. Um, and so the point is, if you, if you are passionate about something you enjoy doing, the energy gets higher. And that's what they're saying to you in May, you know, just enjoy life and, and believe in magic because the guides are trying to communicate with you. And it's difficult uh, if you, even inadvertently, when you don't know it, <clears throat> dismiss them. Okie dokie, here we go. Now going into June, See, already halfway there. <laughs> June 2021 for the star sign of Gemini. Oh, this is really good. <coughs> I think what is important is that you understand that the guides were urging you to really do what they tell you in the months that they tell you to do it. Kind of thing because they have a plan for you, which is also why they said to you, like, believe in magic, pay attention to your guides, show some gratitude, be a bit more humble so you can hear them better. Because in June, your hard work is paying off and you're very close um, to achieving your goal. So whatever it is in this new life, because that's how it feels to me. It, it feels like a lot of stuff that just don't work will leave you, Gemini's, uh, in 2021. And so you keep pressuring on and things will be good. You're very close to achieving your goal. Don't go into panic. Don't go into being pushy. Just know that in June, things are really on the up. Okay, and your hard work is paying off, which is really nice to know. <coughs> Going into July 2021. <clears throat> July may or may not be difficult because you, you notice that so far, they talked a lot about looking at your spirituality, finding your spirituality and stopping the preconceived notions of thinking what spirituality actually is, if that makes sense, because you may got that completely wrong, right? So in July, what the guides are doing for you is you will have a new awakening with regards to your own spirituality, your, your depth, who you truly are, that will come to you in July, right? And it will actually cause deep cellular healing. So this may be a month where you um, may have feelings of guilt, of grief, of all sorts of things because you're healing. Always let healing happen. It's never nice, but it's always important to do that. So in July, my feeling is, energetically speaking, to, uh, to take it a little bit slower, right? And that's that. <clears throat> that was July, going into August 2021. We're looking at the star sign of Gemini. Yeah. <laughs> so after, after July, come August, the break is over. They're asking you to be, to be very focused 
and decide what you want to do and where you want to go because this is the time where you choose your path instead of just waiting for someone to guide you there because when you choose your path basically when you say like that's what i'm going to do that's what i feel i'm going to do with my life right now that's when you step into your own power and the guides will therefore support it so don't be afraid in 2021 we're now in august to um to change direction just trust that you will be supported and also remember let's just say you have worked somewhere for 20 30 years you know everything there is to know about this <clears throat> and now you're starting to look into something that is that is still you but it's completely different it doesn't really matter how well you know everything there because your energy has not gone there before you have to establish yourself it doesn't matter how well you know what you do you have to bring your energy to a new place um, and you have to re-establish yourself it's just the name of the game if that makes sense once your energy has arrived people will find you right so don't worry about it okay because what the guides are saying is if you choose your own path all is possible so right that's really good reminds me of um, when, I, when, I, when I was a child I lived in Saudi Arabia for a year and there was this guy who always said, uh, what do you want, chewing or chew, chewing gum, or chewing, he said, or chocolate. And I always said, well, chocolate. And then he, he came back to us kids um, and had it. And I remember saying to him, like, wow, this is really fast. And he said, anything possible in my country, anything possible. I don't know why this reminds me of it, anything possible. It's just because I read all is possible. And all of a sudden, this, this nice Arabic guy said, it came back to me, anything possible in my country. So I'll probably say that for the next couple of days, anything possible in my country. Nice guy. <coughs> <coughs> Child of memory. I have no idea if this is related to your August or not. <laughs> right? So going into September 2021. Okay. So now that things are very likely changing. This is all just happening if you pay attention to your spiritual journey. We, please understand that. This is really about you listening to the new life that the guides will or want to enable you to have. But come September, they're basically saying to you after you said in, in August, oh, that's what I'm going to do. Right? Now surrender to the journey. Because as I said just a couple of moments ago, um, that you will have to re-establish yourself, things take time because the energy has to be sort of there before things can find you again. That's why the guides are saying, surrender to the journey. As you go there, new things will happen. They may not be instant, which is probably why you get worried then in September, but this is the time to realize that all the answers you, you seek actually lie within. So just allow yourself to be your own safe haven and don't worry because it may take time for your new venture to really kick off. Okay, that was September going into October 2021. Where is the star sign of Gemini? <clears throat> okay, huh. this is interesting <coughs> because what happens <clears throat> when you have a time where you're not so sure and you and you need to look within um that's when you question everything and all the guides are saying isn't that great because in september what they're saying to you is you are good enough you don't just do september i can't remember where i am i believe i'm in september yeah i'm not in october aren't i can't figure, can't figure it out. Sometimes when I do these readings, I lose track of time. Though I don't quite know where I am. <clears throat> anyway, I believe we're in September. If not, everything I say is for September, <laughs> if that makes sense. <coughs> okay? So what they're saying to you is, luck is on your side. New things will happen to you. Don't worry about it. The universe will figure something out. Really, really important. But also, you need to realize that you're good enough. If you think like, oh, I can never pull this off. How am I supposed to pull this off? You go into self-doubt. Do not go into self-doubt. Okay? Really, really important in September. I hope I got that right. Right? Anyway, 
Now I'm being confident in saying we're going into October <laughs> 2021. And we're looking at the star sign of Gemini. This is your October 2021. It all makes sense because, you know, I have different decks here. And so, and yet when I get the answers, they always make sense to what the guys just told you. So in October, what they're saying is because you don't, you didn't panic, you can now forge again a new path. You will see, wow, I'm beginning to establish myself. Things are coming in. I, I'm being seen. Um, so now you can forge a path. And also you will notice that there will be like-minded people showing up in October, right? Even if, even if it feels late in the year, they're still coming. And so you are not alone. And, you know, things are really on your side and you can forge a new path rather than follow what people suggest you do to earn a living, if that makes sense. So October is a good month. Now we're going into November. of 2021 right <clears throat> in november you you're not out of the woods yet obviously you know you can't really expect to to make life-changing changes and within a month or two everything is back to the way you want it it doesn't really work that way right because it takes time to manifest it takes time to like i said you establish yourself <coughs> And so in November, all you can really do is to stay focused. Right? And that's all the guides say to you for November. Just stay focused. And also, because they're asking you and have asked you all, all, all throughout the year to look at your spirituality, what they're saying is be good to your mind and body too. Look after your physical health. Look after your mental health. Look after your emotional health. Really, really important. Right? So November, please take this on board. Right? There's the feeling that I have to, to, to say that, sort of, you know, just to recap here, is it may, it sounds much more difficult than it actually will be in the end, if that makes sense, because, because things are flowing, time is flowing, and we're talking about um, an accumulation or, or, or a succession of months, <coughs> which always happen <coughs> in the same direction, if that makes sense, because we're not talking about the past, we're talking about the, the now and the near future it is important to realize that the things that you hear now where you kind of go like bloody hell may not be as difficult as they sound in a video because time hasn't moved yet right so this is again a thing where you need to trust a little going into the last star sign uh, sorry the last month of the star sign gemini please share widely there must be other gemini's out there who could do with some um with some help from the guides and that's all we're really trying to um to do here is, is to is to help guide you <coughs> so you had a we had a year of of finding yourself again after difficult times in the beginning of the years letting things go in the beginning of the years and now uh, after a year of hard work what the guides are saying is just step back a little get the big picture and because you get the bigger picture it's like oh that's what i have achieved this year or that's what I haven't done yet this year, right? It helps you navigate through the stars to say like, okay, get me, get me to this because normally, and this is another thing that, that a lot of star signs inherently or people do sort of wrong. They're hoping or they're waiting or almost expecting some sort of a solution, something that they have in their mind would then define their lives. It isn't like this at all. Everything is always in flux. So don't worry about changes. Also, you know this 2021, the number is 2, 2, 1, 2 and 2 is 4 and 1 is 5. 5 is the number of change. That's the energy that the whole year has gone, has gone for us. And I hope you didn't skip the overall energy for the year ahead because it makes more sense if you look at your star sign, your months, knowing what the overall energy that is basically um accompanying every month is actually uh doing and actually stands for all right gemini's thank you so much for watching please share widely have a good one bye bye